Hi, this is Martin Patilla, health coach at Life Enthusiast, coming to you over the internet and the radio and wherever you may be listening to this podcast. And I hope you're watching it. Today with me, I have Emma Flanagan. She comes to us with an amazing product, Amazing Soak. Emma is a, a sanitation engineer. She studied in Europe. Uh, she actually comes to us by a Dominican Republic. Yeah. She is an amazing woman, and the Amazing Soak is wonderful. <laughs> Myself and my wife have used it, and we find it invigorating. And you will hear stories that will make you wonder why the world has not discovered this. Emma Flanagan, welcome to Life Enthusiast. Hi, Martin. How are you? Thank you for having me here. Yeah, oh yeah. It's it's an actually, I'm excited to have met you and to be introduced and, and to be able to talk about what Amazing Soak is all about. So Great. What, what do you know about water and oxygen? Uh, <laughs> quite a lot. And, uh, and I'm going to pick on something you just said, like you wonder why it had not been discovered before. It just came by serendipity. It just came one thing led to the other. And with a brain train for engineering, we use science to look for solutions. If I had been in the medical field, uh, I wouldn't have discovered this. Uh, I started working with this product uh, because it's hyperoxygenate, and some organisms they don't have a high tolerance for oxygen. Uh, most of the pathogens they don't have a high tolerance for oxygen, so they they die. And that's how I was working with the product. And one thing led to the other, and I'm thinking, well, maybe you know uh, it can oxygenate the blood and reduce the lactic acid. And I tried that, and it worked. And uh, it's just just very effective oxygenation, and then I use it transdermally, yes. So, so uh, what you're saying really is that your first idea was, I'm going to exercise and I'm going to be less tired, right? Yes, yes. And then I'm going to recover faster from the over-exercise. Yes, yes, because I was so out of shape and I knew that when you have more muscles, then you are able to uh, oxygenate better. And I said, okay, well, if I compensate with that, and bring the oxygen somehow to the blood, then it will be like I had more muscles, and, and it worked. <laughs> so, so anybody who's into over-exercise or athletics, or those people who would like to get fit fast, but don't like to hurt afterwards, this would be yeah. good for them, right? Absolutely, it worked for me, it has worked for others, and even if you're in very good shape, it will help, it will take a stress out of the training, that you replenish that oxygen faster. But this must also mean that if there's an older person who's just barely able to move, they're going to actually be now able to move much better than whatever is left for them. Yes, yes, and that has been the case. That has been the case. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say this way, but it could be like liquid exercise in a bottle. You will get those benefits, like liquid yoga in the bottle. <laughs> because <laughs> yoga, if you think about it, what it helps you with is, it's improve your oxygenation. And then it moves your, your toxins out. So this product can, can uh, deliver similar benefits by you just soaking in it. Right. Well, you, you mentioned the magical world, word, transdermally. So yes. this is delivered in a bath, right? Yes, uh, you only need a wet surface in contact with the skin and that creates the bridge that gets the oxygen to, to uh, penetrate the dermal layers and get uh, into your systemic uh, distribution per se. We use the term transdermal. It means that after penetrating the skin, it is active. So it doesn't enter, it is active. So that's the main thing with this product. The other thing is that we can get to the cells to, at a cellular level without using metabolic systems. So we don't need the circulatory system to move the product and take it places. Because the lymphatics will move it, yeah? Be any, any, any fluid environment in the body is going to support the ionic diffusion of the, of the active oxygen of this product. That's why you want to soak the whole body, right? 
when you have a systemic problem, yes. When you have a localized problem, like you have a tennis elbow, when you have a sprained ankle, then you can just soak that. And in, to some people, even uh, a spraying has worked. A wet compress works very well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have to have that interchange. But yes, soaking is the best, but other methods uh, work as well. The other key thing of this product that, and I think this is the main thing that uh, it make it above everything else, is the mineral electrolytes. They support the oxidant, antioxidant equilibrium. Because when I say oxygen, it's not one oxygen, it's several forms of oxygen molecules that this product generates. The oxygen is a famous oxidizer. Yes. But we really should be talking about electron exchanges, right? Correct, correct. Which, which in this case, most of the time, it is, it is in the form of oxygen. But in reality, it's an electro, electron exchange that there is. Right. So, so, so for the, people who don't remember how this works, let's define it. Oxidation versus reduction. Oxidation is like rusting, and reduction is like removing the rust. So if you think about it, when people talk about acidic versus alkaline, the yes. reaction is alkalizing and the oxidation is acidifying. In the frame of what we're talking about, the oxidant is the one that needs an electron because it's, it's unstable. So it's going to take that electron from, from another compound and that compound is gonna be uh, the reductant, okay? In the term of biology, that is what it's called, it's gonna be the antioxidant because it neutralizes the action of the oxidant. Right. So we have an equilibrium of oxidant antioxidant that works for us and that uh, keeps us healthy or not healthy. And, and the, what is important is the equilibrium is not which oxidants or which antioxidants you have. And that's one of the problems with medicine because most of the studies have been done in vitro outside of the body. And then they don't know inside of the body what is really happening. Yeah, I would actually love to say my favorite metaphor is they treat it like a game of tennis where they are identifying one player, but body is more like a game of football. Exactly. It's a team sport, not, exactly. not one component. And of course, the reductionist medical science thinking always wants to isolate this one thing. But that's not how it works. I mean, even with these electrons, one molecule passes the uh, oxidant to reductant to oxidant to reductant. It's a cascade exactly. of things, right? Exactly. And when somebody is sick and they say, oh, they determine that there are too many oxidants compared to what the readings on a healthy person are, they think, oh, there are too many oxidants without knowing why are there too many oxidants. Maybe the person needs that equilibrium that works for them. The formula has the four major electrolytes, okay, which are calcium, potassium, chloride, and sodium. Each one favors the generation of a different oxygen species. Right. We, we generate a cocktail of oxygen uh, molecules, ions, radicals that work in sync and in synergy with each other. And when they go into the body, then they work on with homeostasis of the body. So the question that comes up for me, when we generate energy, yes. the mitochondria need to generate the energy. Yes. We need to have supply of oxygen. Correct. So when we are oxygen deprived, we switch from respiration to fermentation. We start burning the uh, glucose ineffectively. We start generating yes. acid. It's just like every every cyclist or long distance runner or whoever knows that as long as they are burning the energy below the rate at which they switch to fermentation, below which they switch to right. the generation of the lactic acid, they can keep going. But here you're saying, but I can make your well much deeper. Absolutely, to the, to the root cause of the problem. We, we, get, we generate oxygen as, as we you know, go about life every day. 
there are some, you know, stress, it's cold outside, we have to run, whatever. There are some periods of time where we, the demand is higher than what we can generate. Okay? And most of the time, we can catch up to it, but sometimes it's not. So that deficit sometimes keeps accumulating, accumulating, and then something, and then we are on the verge, something comes up, and that creates a debt that we cannot recover. Right, yeah, the deficit that's, well, okay. cancer, cancer is the most famous way of dealing with Exactly, it. And, and, and many of these conditions are reversible, but up until now, until this product, there was not an efficient way of oxygenating at the cellular level, bypassing the metabolic system, which means even, even if something doesn't work and a lot can go wrong, you first need to breathe in, okay? Let's assume that the, that the air has good quality. Then you have to take it into your lungs. Let's assume that your lungs are working perfectly. Go to do the alveola, need to, to, uh, to make it, it, ionize it, because your body cannot take the oxygen gas. Okay, then that needs to be taken by the blood. Let's say that you have enough red blood cells and everything is working fine. Then you need to travel and distribute it uh, to all the tissues that needs it. And the way that the body knows who needs oxygen or not is by sensing the differential pressure. So when a tissue uses, uses the oxygen, then it has more room for more oxygen to come in. As the, as the, red, blood, the, the red blood cells, the, the, the uh, hemoglobin senses that the pressure is lower there. Oh, I need to give some oxygen to this, to this tissue here. But if there is inflammation, the inflammation creates a pressure and then the differential pressure that the hemoglobin needs to release that oxygen, it gets messed up because it doesn't drop. So the, the body doesn't know that that tissue needs oxygen because there is inflammation. Well, and the, that is the problem with inflammation. Yeah, this is actually critical. So that actually means that every condition that a doctor will identify and diagnose with labels like anything with the itis or otis in the name, like arthritis, yes. diabetes, and so on, whatever. All, all the chronic diseases is that the period of, of their knowledge expired, and then they, they deem this chronic disease, and you have to live with it for the rest of your life, and, and that is not the case. The, the bottom line is that everybody is looking for a way to getting oxygen in an effective way to the tissues at the cellular level. Right. And this is what this product can deliver. Yeah, let me just list it on my hand here. So we're, as soon as we increase oxygenation in the cell, we're going to be lowering swelling. We're going to be in, lowering pain. We're going to be lowering all the symptoms of inflammation, heat, swelling, itching, um, especially loss of function, right? That's the biggest problem with right. inflammation. This product is a tool. Right. to get oxygen at the cellular level. You have so many cells on survival mode. So now they have the opportunity of getting oxygen that they can resume other functionalities that they have not been able to perform. Yeah, that's and, the of function I mentioned. Yeah. Yes, and, and we have no control on that. I, I'll give you two examples. So the viewers are away uh, uh, because this is something that they need to understand. You might have had a surgery or, a, or an accident or whatever, where you got nerve tissue damaged. So you soak in this product and you also have some inflammation, some swelling, you know, pain. Guess what? You, you soak, your pain might increase because as, as some tissues are healing, also nerve tissues are healing and they're able to sense more. Oh. So it's part of the it's part of the get worse before getting better. Okay, everything is gonna start getting better, including some nerve that might not be feeling pain because they were damaged. So that's something that they need to be aware of, you know, mm. and that's something I I don't have control of. So let's let's describe how much of this you use. We ship it either in a sixteen ounce or a gallon right now. Correct. 
Should, should we start with a lot and then re diminish, or should we start with a I, and increase later? Some conditions, people have to soak two or three times, and then with my own family, you know, they get it for free, and they put more than what I told them to put, and then they got better right away. And I'm like, okay, then maybe we should use a little bit more for some conditions. I will say to begin with, always use a quarter cup. A quarter cup in a, in a standard uh, bathtub. And if it's a little bigger, then maybe half a cup. Is it okay to put it on the face? After you dilute it, yes. And as it is, the way it comes is, is highly concentrated. And you cannot have it, uh, definitely not by the eyes at all. Okay, it won't burn your skin or anything like that, uh, but, but you don't use it without diluting it. Okay, but once you put it in the bathtub, you can submerge the whole body face and all. Yes. If you, have, if you have, if you're using it with kids and they soak and they open their eyes in the water, I will say just use like one capful cool. at, at, at most in the full bath for, yeah. I'm just thinking about all the possible conditions that this applies to. It's just crazy. Yeah, let me let me tell you, I, I just wrote down, so I don't forget a little bit of the thing that I have observed. I wrote down a few of, of, the, of what I have seen is helping people, uh, friends, acquaintances, family, that have improved their conditions, eliminate symptoms, uh, uh, reduce reactions. Fibromyalgia, that was, uh, a, a huge one. Rheumatoid arthritis, COPD, MS, Parkinson, uh, psoriasis, eczema, uh, broken bones. That was my personal testimonial. If you could just hold on to the thought on that. Up to the broken bones, everything you named was inflammatory autoimmune type of condition. Yes. Every one of them. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. You know, I want to say really quick so your viewers understand that I was just basically studying this for oxygenation of the blood, okay, and recovering from, from uh, replenishing on sets of high demand of oxygen. That was the study I was doing. Then I had the opportunity of having an accident and breaking a bone. And <laughs> it, it, it also with the, with the circumstance that it was a snowstorm and I couldn't get to the hospital. And out of desperation, I, I, I said, well, let me soak with this product and at least I'm oxygenating in the meantime. I, I wasn't thinking much about it. And to my amazement, the swelling reversed and I'm looking at it and my hand in the pot of water is like, what's going on? The pain also reduced and I'm thinking it's a refraction of the water. I take it out of the water and my hand looked like nothing happened. So I had somebody to stay with me because my, my, uh, my wrist was fractured and I needed help around the house and the lady had fibromyalgia. So she's like, well, can I use it? And, and I said, sure. I didn't understand what was fibromyalgia, but you know, she, she was helping me out. She's, yeah, sure. And, it, and her pain was gone. Uh, the first day was, Half of it gone, according to what she told me. She said, it's like half gone. The second day disappeared. She, at first, she started soaking once a week, then every other week. And now she soaks maybe once a month, really? five, six weeks. So yes. she, stay, she stays in maintenance mode. She does repeat it, but it's not very frequent. She uses it for fear of, for the pain to come back. All right. Most people, most people... Unfortunately, uh, they are not customers forever. I'm, I'm very happy. Most of them, they, they try this out of desperation. Not necessarily thinking it was gonna help, making sense out of desperation because nothing else worked. Mm -hmm. We do not claim that this cures any illness. All we can say is that by su supplementing this oxygen to the body, you're giving the nutrients to the cells so that they resume normal function. Yes. Full stop. We fix the function. We don't fix the illness. 
that's that's the way it is. That's yeah. the way it is. So when you mention bone healing, so did you have an X-ray of that broken wrist? Yes, I had an X-ray, uh, and the X-ray showed that the that the wrist was broken. That when I went to the doctor, it was a few days later after the accident. The doctor said it's impossible. Yeah, you could not possibly not have it set exactly and whatever, right? I couldn't. He said it's not. He said it's not possible. When did you say? Did we saw the last? And I said no. He said it's not. It's, it wasn't broken. And I said, well, that's what I want to determine. And the doctor said, well, I can tell you right now, it wasn't broken. You wouldn't be able to yeah. be here without anything. And I'm like, doctor, I'm paying for this. Just at the X-ray. And then he called me. He said, hey, I. I I'm sorry, but but you were right. It's, it's, I just got the report back, and the bone was broken. You know, I'm curious this way. Like when I just chipped my elbow, I mean, it wasn't even broken. It was just, you know, fractured, but not broken apart. Okay. It was extremely painful, and I had to have it immobilized for like a month because if I moved it, it would just, I would scream in pain. Yes. So did you immobilize your wrist? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, yeah. When I fell, I made it to the house somehow. And, and what I thought was, I just wanted to take my coat off because I'm thinking this hurts so much. I don't want to even think about anybody pulling my coat off. I, I just wanted it to free the, I mean, that's, like I said, it was out of desperation. There was no logic for me to put the wrist in the water. Within minutes, the pain was not desperation. It was, it was a very a painful, but it wasn't desperation. And by the time I, I saw probably 20 minutes, uh, I, never took a, I never took pain medication. Wow. Because when you think about it, when, you, when the inflammation, the swelling is not there, and the and the blood vessels, you know, resume. Uh, 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 the blood is flowing, and the nerves are not compressed. So it, it's not that much pain. I had to immobilize it, but just one of the things that you get at the pharmacy. I I couldn't move my fingers. So so this part and this part were disconnected. I couldn't move my fingers. I couldn't grab my phone. I couldn't do anything. All I all I could do was stay like this. Okay. So. So the next day I'm able to do this. The following day I'm, I'm able to move more fingers, and each day it so was you're healing. Yeah. right. And so, so you continued the soaks, though, right? I did it probably three times. Like I did it. Day? I did it the one the one time, and then I did it the next day, and then probably two days later, and then probably five days later. Probably three times after that altogether. So you so, did. So on the seventh day, I'm able to do a feast. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Yes. So I looked up on the computer. Dr. Google said, it's not possible yes. to heal this fast. It's so then that's when I got the, I'm, I'm like, okay, I need evidence of this because nobody's going to be, at that point, I wasn't even believing. People were telling me, what, you heard the bones? No, that was something else. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Let me just have this x-ray done. Right. I'm so glad I did. Okay, so if you, if well, this is true. I mean, you have the personal evidence of it. So this must mean that uh, anything to do with bones, like bone spurs or, or joint disfiguration, calcification, all of that, that will be corrected by this as well. Anything that had been compromised because of, of uh, Function. low functionality yeah. at the cellular level, has a very high opportunity of reversing. Yeah, so that must mean varicose vein and arthritic. Joint. Oh, I have my own one from the varicose vein. Huh. I like people with pain because they are a very good evidence when the product works. Yeah, then you get somebody that have yeah. that the hurt is okay and they say, oh, it didn't do anything for me. It's not true. The, the product works 100% of the time because it's the, it's the ionic chemistry of it. That's all it does. Release oxygen. That's all it does. So it always works, whether you think it, it helps you or not. So uh, a, a couple of months after I start soaking in the product, I'm sitting, uh, I sat on the floor waiting for, for a class to start. 
And then I realized my varicose veins, they don't look as bulging. I'm like, oh, what's, they, this doesn't look as bad. My first reaction was like, I'm looking at the wrong leg. So I look at the other leg. I'm like, no, this is the leg with my varicose vein. I touched them. I couldn't feel them. So the previous, so, previously hard, lumpy things are now soft, yeah? I couldn't have massage there. When I would to have a massage, I would have to tell the people, hey, don't touch my, my varicose vein. I had to tell them ahead of time because the pain would just like squish me out of the bed. Yeah. And gone. So aesthetically, it doesn't look as bulging. It, it, it barely looked like anything. And there is no pain whatsoever. So those vessels, they were able to, to heal, exactly. And that's what happens with your body. You, you, you go beyond the, the vessels, but you can always also help regenerate your circulatory system. Let Imagine that you. I go with my product in my purse and I'm looking and I see somebody, I'm like, oh, excuse me, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I have this product. I, that's literally what I was doing. And I'm thinking, what am I doing? My kids is like, mom, are you out of your mind? They think I'm gonna be selling them, and it's like they don't know that I'm looking for, you know, ways of learning. I run out of people in pain. Business wasn't in my in my mind. I was trying to take care of myself and my problem. But when I had the accident, and then had my friend with the fibromyalgia, and she said, "You gotta do something about this, and you gotta get uh, this is you have no idea." I, I didn't know what a chronic a pain was and, and she's trying to explain to me she said you know I have to wait months to go to this specialist and the and the offices are crowded so I'm like okay let me let me look into it so I went to her church and I asked for volunteers to test the product and I got I ran out of all the samples that I brought to the church and when I got the uh, feedback uh, I said, okay, everybody seems to have something that has inflammation in it. So that's how I started researching and understanding that there was nothing to take care of this problem. And I had this, I felt like, uh, like, uh, like I had this responsibility. And then everywhere I looked, I saw people in pain and suffering. And I'm feeling, oh my God, I can help this person. How selfish are you that you're not doing something about it? That's how I started in this journey of, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me, let me see if I can get this to the market. And I started getting the market research and studying and it, that's how it happened. It, it wasn't really my intention. Okay. So, you're, you're being very careful on the product label telling people to be very careful of not, not getting it concentrated on anything, to dilute it first, right? It, yes. It's a strong oxidating agent, so it may bleach fabrics. Yeah, it might, it might bleach fabric. Not, a, not, a good, not like as good a job as bleach, but it does stay in the fabric. If, if, uh, if, you use a, if you use a dilution like more than 2%, be careful where you spray. If you want to purposely bleach something, it works really good. You get a white like you have never seen a white before. <laughs> okay. I, I, I know, I've, I've done it and it's like, wow, this is amazing. How like a really hey, nice white. Look, we sell the gallon for $400. I guess that, that, is, a, that is a steal. <laughs> it is a steal. Uh, I just wonder how it compares to ordinary bleach. Maybe we should start telling people to put it in their laundry. <laughs> no, but if you have uh, a really precious 100 years old uh, a, a wedding gown that you cannot get the, the, you know, you want that white back, the original mm -hmm. white, because in the same way, I mean, it's just, the, it's, just it's just bleaching with oxygen as opposed to bleaching with chlorine. Yes. It's the same concept. You just get a really nice white, but it takes a lot of product. Okay. To do that. It's not the application for it. Okay, got it. So anyway, there's a warning on the bottle. Do not use yes. it's concentrated, care, careful handling, uh, but it's not dangerous. You s already suggested that it's okay to use it in a compress. To prepare a compress, to say like put it around right. my wrist, yeah. I would take a teaspoon of the product in a glass of water and make... I don't know. Maybe. Like a capful, yeah, exactly. Like or like a cap. I say a capful per cup of 
per cup of water. To a point, more is better with this product because you need to keep in mind that the product gets the oxygen from the water. So the product needs the water to stay active. The product needs clean water to be able to become active. Don't add anything else to the clean water. Don't add Epsom salt, don't add anything else. After, after 15 minutes, then you can add whatever you want to your, and um, finish your bath with aromatherapy, whatever you want. But to get the therapeutic effect, you need the clean water. All right, when I get into the tub, it smells quite like a public pool, like chlorine's being released. The, the product has chloride. It doesn't have chlorine ClO2. Mm -hmm. it, has, it has oxide of chloride as, a, as an electrolyte. Well, maybe it's the chlorine that's in my water that's being released that I'm smelling. Uh, it could be. It could be. This product will neutralize the chlorine that is in the water. So if you have a sensitivity to chlorine, if you add this product, it's going to help neutralize that. Okay? Okay. It's going to purify the water. And, 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 and what is left over after purifying the water, that's what is going to get into your body. When you spoke about chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, yes, that is such a widespread common problem. It's insane how many people suffer with it and just how, no how badly they are treated by the medical system because they have nothing to offer. I mean, they, they just try to give them antidepressants to make them not think how miserable their life is, but they have nothing to make their life better. And so this simple solution, I mean, we're, we're talking about $100 for a year. But it could, I mean, your, your condition might be resolved forever. Because when you have, let's say, inflammation, when you have inflammation, it comes to a point where the original problem is not even there anymore. And the only problem is the inflammation. We will reduce the inflammation, which then exactly. will reduce the loss of function, which will also remove the pain that comes exactly. with it. So you, will exactly. be, you will be free of pain, energized uh, with return of flexibility and uh, range of motion and, and emotional stability where you've lost it. I mean, the, the applications are insane. Diabetes has struck me the most because I, I wasn't connecting this to hypoxia, but he says, you need 19 times more glucose to create energy if there is not enough oxygen. So uh, if you oxidize in an aerobic environment, a molecule of glucose produces 19 ATP. If it's anaerobic, then it produces only two. So then what the body does, the body wants to keep those glucose so it makes less insulin so you have more glucose available to burn and convert to energy. Yeah, the problems of diabetes indeed is an overabundance of glucose versus the availability of oxygen. The other one was with the high blood pressure. The, the heart is pumping faster. It is like when you're exercising, you need more oxygen, your heart is pumping faster to deliver more oxygen. Uh, but then imagine that you have that demand, you're not even exercising. Everybody needs oxygen. So your, high blood, your blood pressure is higher because you have to pump faster to try to keep up with the demand of oxygen. So this must mean that this will help with COPD? This would it, I, have, I, have the, I have COPD as one of my testimonials. And, and that was like, from one day to the next. I had a friend, uh, she was overweight. She had, was diagnosed with uh, uh, a sleep apnea. She was using a CPAP. She had a, a, a ton of problems, uh, respiratory conditions, sinuses, whatever, a, an infection she got. So, so we added this to the water to clean the water so her infection wouldn't get worse. And she started healing. The next day, the next day, the next day, by the fourth day, there was no signs of any respiratory condition that she had had for over two years. Then she told me that she didn't even need a CPAP anymore because her sleep apnea was gone. Right. That also reversed that condition. 
so I should be theoretically able to put it into a humidifier uh, into a bedroom and just distribute it that way. Without theoretically, you should be able to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. You are, getting, you are getting a higher quality of the air that you are breathing and you're getting active oxygen. Could you speculate how to do that? Let's just say that the tank is a gallon of water. Would you just put a teaspoon of the solution into that and let it blow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and yeah, more than that. Maybe you can more? put, you can put yeah, a tablespoon of the solution in it. You can also put it in uh, inhalers if you have sinus problems. Uh, I, I, I have one of those Vicks. I use it for that also. If you have sore throat, it helps with that way too. How would you use it on sore throat? Uh, um, you, can do, you can do gargles and you can also breathe it in with uh, one of those inhalers. And for the gargle, would you use the 2% solution or is that too strong? Oh no, I just take the capful of one of the, of the gargle bottles and I just put two drops in it and gargle with it. Just two drops of the solution. Just two drops, yeah, on a, on a mouthful. Okay. Yeah, and it helps with your, um, uh, it, it's helped with the biofilm in your teeth also, oh. because it purifies, you know, it's just oxygen. It's good for everything. I had somebody that was bitten by a, a spider and she had gone through two rounds of antibiotics and the wound wasn't, the lesion wasn't healing. So she was scheduled for surgery to remove the necrotizing tissue. She started spraying with the product and canceled the appointment. It started healing. Uh, and how was she using it? She was, uh, she diluted and she was using a sprayer. So spray directly on the skin? A spray directly on, yes. So I've had insomnia, asthma, fever, Chronic bronchitis, uh, sinus, sore throat, improved it. bed sores, people from bed sores also, rinsing, spraying on the bed sores that help, diabetic leg ulcers, uh, guillain barre I had, that was a recent testimonial I had. That is incredible. Like what sort yes. of change would that person have experienced? Uh, that was a little girl, 12 years old and she had been out of the hospital for 10 weeks, given pain medication and just physical therapy and wasn't making much improvement. So she's, she, she soaked just the legs in a bucket of water for about 20, 20, 30 minutes. And after the third soak, she was able to walk without the walker. Yeah, because these people because, have usually neurological problems that make their muscle control yeah i don't i haven't talked to the to the they're out of this country i haven't talked to the parents uh, so it was just soaking the legs uh so so they were they didn't have a bathtub but just just that was the benefit from just getting oxygenation enough oxygenation to be able for those uh, some tissues there to recover functionality okay well, I think we have given enough examples. We have explained yeah. how it works. I mean, it's actually crazy simple. We deliver, it is crazy we simple. deliver oxygen to the tissue by getting it through the skin. The body distributes it where it wants it, and it heals what it wants first. So if it heals the nerves first, you're going to feel it stronger, but that's okay. You're going to get better. And uh, the product is simple. It's just take this and put it in water and put your body parts in it. Yeah. Let me, let me do some, some uh, also the warning here. If you have a condition where your immune system has to be suppressed, you need to be careful about it because this is going to enhance everything. If you have, if you have a, a transplant, this might not be the product for you because if you're trying to suppress the immune system from rejecting your organ, then this is gonna start making your immune system work better. So you don't want that. If you are under a care of a physician for, you know, so just consult with a physician. We are, I'm not a doctor. Uh, this is not a cure. This is a tool to get oxygen, therapeutic levels of oxygen at the cellular level. And, and your immune system, your own body 
is going to use it for whatever they consider, whatever their needs are in the order that it works for your body. Yeah, so people who are on uh, corticosteroids or other steroidal type of immunosuppressants, this will work against it. This is going to enhance the, metabol the metabolic functioning of the cells. Yeah. We don't know which ones are going to take over or not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm and the other thing is, the other thing is, our body is not designed to store dissolved oxygen. These last fractions of seconds. Uh, when you get out of the water, the bridge is broken and you're no longer getting oxygen. And what you have in your body is gonna, is gonna dissipate. This only works while there is a, 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 a connection with the water, with the product. Whether it's in, in the wet wrap or you're spraying or you're soaking, when that wet contact with the skin is broken, there is no more product coming in. Okay, so anyway, the um, solution is simple. You can get it at Life Enthusiast. It's crazy affordable relative to the benefit it can deliver. And um, I highly encourage you to give this a shot. Yeah, we offer money back guarantee, or I should say, we offer customer satisfaction. If for some reason you are not satisfied, we will work with you to remedy the situation. But I feel strongly confident that this product is going to make a dramatic difference in many lives. Emma Flanagan, <laughs> the sanitation engineer turned, turned into a uh, oxygenation angel. <laughs> okay, it was a pleasure talking to you, anytime. You bet. Yeah. This is Martin for Life Enthusiast, life-enthusiast.com. Look up Amazing Soak. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you.